really special people in our organization. Uh, character, the way they handled uh, the information they received today only speaks volumes of what they were professionals and players on and off the football field. I thought Derek was a consummate professional. Uh, you know, with Coach Morris, talking to Coach Morris, myself, and the person that even Brian Glazer uh, just showed again the class of these men that we had to release today really is. Derek is obviously one of the greatest players of all time. And again, these decisions are tough for us to make. It's a decision, it's a direction that we feel like we want to head as a franchise and as an organization. I would say, I would say that for us, uh, today's a very difficult day. Players know that they're important to us, but uh, this is a decision we had to make in this direction. There's never, never adequate time to make these types of decisions. Fortunately, uh, we've been put in a role as decision makers, and we made a big one today. All these guys are rare talents that mean a lot to everybody in this building. They've given us a lot. We're thankful for everything they've given us. Both championships, character, off the field, personally, myself. I wouldn't be in a position I am today if it wasn't for these players. We'll open it up for questions. Mark, uh, have you guys completely closed the door on Derek and We've, uh, we've, we let them all know that we're going in a different direction, and uh, we've made that understood to us. You said this was about letting younger players play. Why back in particular? Are those guys on the roster now? Is it still to come? Where do you go? We believe there are players on this roster, that's at linebacker as well, um, that are, have the opportunity to step up and play and compete for a starting job at Will back, Sam back, a wide receiver. Back. So uh, we believe there are some young men already on the roster. As we sit here today, yes, absolutely. When you Let's talk with Derek sense. Brooks, is he? Uh, uh, did he understand the reasons behind the move? And, and personally, I mean, he, you say he took it like a professional. Does he feel like he can still play in this league? Is he going to try and catch on somewhere else? Um, I guess I asked that. Um, you know, today we're not here to speak for Derek Brooks. What, what Derek Brooks feels, Derek Brooks can do. Today we're here to pretty much give you what's, what's going on, what we've done, the decision we've come to. Derek Brooks at a later date, when he gets right, I'm sure we'll address you all. Yeah, but I mean, essentially, you were telling him that in your opinion, he can't fit into what you're doing here. Did he agree with that assessment, and does he feel that's around the rest of the NFL, or is it a career-ending move today? Well, we can't answer that question. Uh, what we do know is Derek Brooks was a pro, it like a pro, um, like everybody in this room would expect them to. That's what we do now. Guys, why would you say exactly what it was that Derek, you said so with Derek, and you just go down the list, but what didn't you see on film? Uh, the, what was your evaluation that led to this decision? You know, it's, it's a direction. You know, I'm not, a, you guys, we know, I'm not a big fan of the rebuilding word, but in a way, we did direction that we want to head. And so it wasn't so much what Derek Brooks or Cato Jim couldn't do, it's the direction we want to do with the guys that are currently on the roster and the men that are going to join us as we create the roster in the next few months to get to training camp. What do players have to possess to go in that direction with you? Know, you know, they got to love football, but really today is, uh, to me, not about what we're looking for for the future for free agency and like that. Today is to let you know that, you know, we let some great individuals go work done for what he's done on and off the football field. You know, a lot of people give credit for his off the field. But what he's done on the field is simply truly amazing for his career. You know, Ike Hilliard's spent a long time in the National Football League catching a lot of passes, a lot of first downs for us in Tampa. These guys won us a lot of football games. And so it's a difficult day. Cato June came over and made a direct impact, instant impact for the franchise. 
So this was not an easy day. And Joey sparked us with three 1,000 yard seasons. And to be honest with you, bro, they, they got to possess some of the qualities. Um, and then we just let go of that. Um, so no knock on these men. We're looking for men like them. Um, that's going to carry us into this new decade. Why, what, what was the timing? Why the timing? Why not? Or we felt like, in, out of respect to the players, um, the free agency looming, we felt like it was only fair to them to let them go now. Uh, Why not sooner? That's what I'm saying. We wanted to make sure we we're making the right decision. And we sat around at the organizations of staff, or even myself, and uh, collectively talked about it through the combine to make sure this was the right direction and the right decision. Because these are not easy decisions. All five of these were very difficult for us. That's the decision we wanted to make. How much money did you save by letting us Thank you. It wasn't even a financial decision. I haven't even looked at that because this, none of these were financial decisions. Did Mark, the new coordinators <coughs> have a say in this uh, The decision makers are sitting in front of me today. Um, we value everyone's opinion in the building. Talk to everyone in the building. Uh, that's our job as decision makers. But at the end of the day, uh, myself and Mark, uh, we get together and we make decisions. Mark, well, can you or Raheem speak to um, a void that you now have in terms of, of the intangibles in that locker room? And Derek Brooks um, has, for, for better, been the face of this franchise, kept the team together in, in tough times. To some degree, I kill you, just done that with young players. What, what have you lost, and, and, and who are those guys that you've identified on this team now that have to step into some of those roles that you must feel are ready to? Rick, there, there's no doubt about uh, losing voids uh, as far as character, uh, what these players all brought to the, the, the locker room, uh, what they brought to the head coach. Uh, there's no doubt about that. We do have players in those roles uh, that have to step up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of burden placed on people. Uh, the changing of the guard, so to speak, uh, the bad rooms of the world. Some of those guys just assume bigger roles. They just they, they, they set me some pretty big shoes, as you guys all know. You never replace a guy like Derek Brooks. You just put people and give them a chance and opportunity to. Can right. you be any more straight and handle those guys? Um, four of the guys were of oh, you know, they were getting up in age, but what was the reason for releasing Kato Jones? Again, this is this was not a money issue. This was not a, a age issue, a youth movement. To be honest, just like Mark just stated earlier, it was a direction change. It's what we're doing. It was part of the plan. <coughs> People will be in place. We got time to show that. We got time to do that. When you say direction, that, that are we talking more scheme? Obviously, if it's not age, if it's not money, then are we talking just X's and O's? Is that fair to say? We're, we're talking about what the Bucks want to look like. So it's obvious that he's younger. Young. And <coughs> June was a younger player. So he didn't fit into the mold of what he wanted to look like? You know, you know, it's not looking younger. Again, we want to look like our plan, uh, who we got laid in front of us. Rondé Barber's not younger. Uh, Chris Holman's not younger. These guys are all part of the plan still. The guys that we released today are not. But we respect them. And it's more about the respect we give to those guys. Raheem, would, would you expound a little bit on this plan you're talking about, what you want to look like in that plan? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like we talked about earlier. We're going to be a fast, tough, disciplined team that consistently competes for championships. Um, and right now, we're moving forward. We're going to play some people that's behind some of these guys, and let them compete. And that's our plan. Have, How long would you say that you all did the day with this particular Derek? Was, was this something that in the back of your mind you thought might happen from the moment you took over the team? No, I mean, coming from the pro department and watching this, I had a very fortunate career here at Tampa. I think Derek and I stepped in this building the same day. I saw every one of his games, every one of his plays. So for me, I've seen Derek from 1995 to 2008, and uh, that did make it very difficult. It's a decision that we made over a few weeks, the last few weeks, once uh, we're put in the position that we're in. And it did take time because those are very difficult decisions. But with that being said, 